Have you ever wondered how to find a predictive model when you have a large number of predictors and a smaller number of observations? Welcome to the world of partial least squares regression, or PLS regression for short, a powerful tool in the machine learning toolkit. Imagine a world where you're trying to predict a certain outcome, say, the temperature tomorrow. You have a vast array of potential predictors, today's temperature, humidity, wind speed, the number of clouds in the sky, and so on. But there's a catch. You have more predictors than you have days of data. This is where PLS regression comes into play. PLS regression is a technique that combines features of principal component analysis and multiple regression. It's a dimension reduction method, which means it reduces the number of predictors to a smaller set of uncorrelated components and performs least squares regression on these components instead of the original data output. So how does it work? PLS regression works in a series of steps. First, it standardizes the predictors and the response variable. This means it transforms the data so that it has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Next, it computes the weights for each predictor. These weights show how much each predictor contributes to the response variable. Then it creates a new set of variables called the latent variables. These latent variables are linear combinations of the original predictors weighted by their contribution to the response variable. After this, it performs a least squares regression of the response variable on the latent variables. Finally, it iterates this process until it reaches a stopping criterion such as a maximum number of iterations or a small change in the weights. To summarize, PLS regression is a powerful method for dealing with high-dimensional data. It reduces the number of predictors to a smaller set of uncorrelated components and performs least squares regression on these components. This makes it particularly useful when you have more predictors than observations. PLS regression works by standardizing the predictors and the response variable, computing the weights for each predictor, creating a new set of latent variables, performing a least squares regression of the response variable on the latent variables, and iterating this process until it reaches a stopping criterion. Remember, PLS regression is just one tool in the machine learning toolbox. It's not always the best tool for every job, but when you're dealing with high-dimensional data, it can be a lifesaver. So next time you're faced with a large number of predictors and a smaller number of observations, consider using PLS regression. You might be surprised at how much it can help.